Good evening, good day, and good night, whatever the time it is for you. Today we're going to be checking out a mod from the Kingdom Hearts 3 modding community, another great work of art. We are currently in Twilight Town. This is where I am just for the beginning of this video. Let's go ahead and cut, and I will see you guys in the actual mod. Whee! Okay, I need to chill out. Okay, so here we are in Traverse Town, or the first district. The other part is not yet finished, I believe. So yeah, uh, this here mod allows you to go to Traverse Town in Kingdom Hearts 3, and it is truly a work of art, if I do see so myself. This here is uh, a complete remake from the ground up of Traverse Town in Unreal Engine. You guys can definitely see the upgrade that it, this mod has done to the place. Of course, Traverse Town doesn't officially appear in Kingdom Hearts 3, but I mean, I think we all know that by this point, but okay. Uh, yeah, the deal with this is it is a completely remade version of Traverse Town. What I actually want to show you guys is things like the chairs down here at this little bar thing or whatever. They actually have like physics and stuff like that. And I think you can... Okay, so you can't hit those, okay. Oh, you can actually put out the candles by hitting them with the keyblade. The deal with this is pretty straightforward. It is a, of course, as I said, a remake of Traverse Town or the first districts of Traverse Town. I keep forgetting that, but the, uh, the main point here is that this mod is freaking beautiful. I can't say any, like, I can't put into words how beautiful this mod looks. And with all the, like, the mechanics and stuff, like in Cage 3, the fact that you can, like, uh, climb on top of all these buildings and stuff like that, it, it makes the experience a lot better, a lot more fluent and stuff like that. Like, look at this stuff. They even added Geppetto's house, which wasn't here at first, but uh, I think it's somewhere towards the end of KH1. I think after the first visit of Hollow Bastion, the house appears, I believe. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I believe that's it. Anyways, uh, here, uh, if I could please... Uh, get out of this yeah this is a bug this is a pretty pretty nasty bug <laughs> in this mod I didn't even notice it right up to now but yeah developers if you could be please fix I just found you guys a bug you you want me as your beta tester so basically this mod was developed by Caleb I believe is the name of the de developer I'm sorry if I messed up the name I am pretty much a freaking moron so yeah and I downloaded this mod from nexusmods.com. I will go ahead and leave you guys a link in the description to download the mod, to go ahead and support the creator and stuff like that. The mod is of course free. Uh, I would I would make a tutorial probably on how to mod Cage 3, but there already are tutorials out there. If you guys want something like that from me, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. But. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. For now, we only have the first district. I can't wait for the uh, developers to uh, make the second and third district. I think that is going to look even more beautiful than this one. But this one, for now, in itself, in all its glory, it looks sick. They even got like a Moogle thing up here set up. And of course, if you're wondering, you can't just go through. These doors are just, these doors are just like blocked off. You, you can't do anything. You can't go to, to the accessory shop. That's kind of a shame, but whatever the item shop of course you can't get in there as well but i hope all of that will be available eventually once the mod if the mod ever finishes i think the last update for this mod came out in 2021 uh, i will go ahead and put up a picture on the screen of when the last update came out so if i mess that up i'm going to correct myself in the editing process so that's pretty much it i think you guys have seen everything for now I can't wait to see more for, for this mod. And they even added like the area where like the dream drop distance is uh, part, uh, the, the part that's only accessible in dream drop distance. I don't believe you can access. I think that's pretty much it. I think we covered everything. Of course, you can't go back here in the back alley. That part is of course not done, but I really hope that they will actually eventually get to uh, remaking the whole world. That is going to be awesome. I'm going to 
maybe live stream that. Uh, if, if that ever happens, I'm going to live stream and uh, have you guys in the chat while uh, we're checking out the mod. We're gonna be checking out. I'm gonna be checking out the, the mod itself live with you guys. A couple things I also want to mention before I leave this off. Look at first of all the lighting. The lighting is the biggest improvement in my opinion. Like this, this is something you you couldn't even in the in the time of Kingdom Hearts One, you, you couldn't even like dream about this sort of stuff. Like the lights are perfect. The light again, the lighting job is awesome. If you take a look at the textures, they have they have way more detail, way higher resolution, of course, than back on the PS2. Travis Town kind of got a glow up with this mod, if I do say so myself. So I really like it. I really like what the developers did. I love that you can do this on these like uh, street lights things. And that's pretty much it. I think I said everything I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching this mod video. Hope to see you guys on my live streams and in my other videos. Again, thank you for watching. You're a real MVP. And goodbye.